Welcome to the Porn Stars and People podcast. I'm here with Darcy Dolce, or DJ Darcy Dolce. Both, I am both. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, this is, is this, We're in LA. Is this home? Um, No, it's my new home okay. for the almost three years. My home is Sacramento, California, or Very Folsom to be exact. How does it compare? Um, I mean, they're both in California, so I'm not <laughs> too far away from my home base. Yeah. But um, they're very different, but both cool. But I would much rather be living here right now, and so I'm in the right place. Boom, <laughs> got him. So uh, I apologize, not, not that it's my fault, but when you came in, there's a line of people that have been camped out. There, are, all of them are wearing all black, and they're all like, I don't know. And they uh, look like children. Well, and they're all, and they're <laughs> all, like children. and they're all. Uh, I, the, most of them are are not white. So we're looking at Asians, <laughs> blacks, Latinos. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and they're all out there, and they're waiting for uh, some drop at Supreme. Yeah, some shoe. I would is it a assume. Shoe? Yeah. I would never wait. I love sneakers. Yeah. And they are awesome. I've spent money on sneakers. Yeah, sh- uh, yeah. Show us, show us what you got. I've got on. You were in like Nike the heel force. What are they called? Um, These are like the heel. Um, I don't know. They got like a little wedge or something. But they're called the. They're called the Force. I don't know. I, I, I they're just, I they're saw still them cute. And I was like, these are dope. I like <laughs> them. They're cool. I'll get these. But I'm not like, oh, those are those sneakers from that time. I would wait those two days those for those. those sneakers. So, yeah. So, well, I so technically did because I bought them online. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, the people are, yeah, that, that's what I don't understand is when you wait on, is when you wait online when you could buy them online. You know what I mean? Like, these people are going to get these, like, then there's no way all these people, because it's stretching the whole well, block. those are probably, like, some exclusive bullshit to that specific store, maybe. Yeah. I don't fucking know. What's but I would never wait in a line like that have, for a pair of kicks. Have you ever camped out for anything? Fuck no. Never? Nothing? Why? What's the point? Sometimes not for Pirates of the Caribbean, not for Harry experience. Potter, not for a pair of fucking sneakers. No. Sometimes it's part of the experience. I camped out for I would uh, never camp out basketball for tickets once because it was on campus. It was basically I was only like uh, I was like within seeing distance of my apartment anyway. So we all just kind of chilled out and oh. like and it became the experience of it. But yeah, this is kind of this is kind of weird. And you're like on dirty Fairfax standing yeah. camping. They out. all brought their canvas chairs. Yeah, fuck that. So they've been there for a while. There's so, so that's many other cool things to buy other than that one. But these guys yeah. are they're you know, these guys are like between probably fifteen and eighteen. They, this is their whole life. This is what mm-hmm. shoes they have. Mm. <laughs> so that's you got a lot of life to live so that's other where than at. your sneakers. All right, so um I my this is my I don't know, third time in California period. Uh I'm having I'm oh. having uh I'm having problems with the drivers here. Like Uber drivers? No, I, I I rented a car. So, but nobody. Uh, there's no rules on the roads here. I don't know what's going on. It's um. You, you literally have to be very defensive, aggressive, and yeah. watch your ass when you drive around here. I feel like Especially those are conflicting this ideas. Area. Yeah. Like this area is crazy. Like Hollywood, West Hollywood. Yeah, it's definitely different. I was. Uh, I you're was, from New York. I'm from New York, so I'm I'm used to being an aggressive driver. But the problem is nobody here. Uh, like, so the lanes don't matter is the biggest problem. So like, I in in New York, you're in the left lane, you go fast. The right lane, you 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 lay out. So they abide by the everybody rules. here. It's like five lanes, and they're just all going twelve. You know why I think? Because everybody's all stoned around here. Yeah, that's what they've been saying. <laughs> that's what they've been saying. So yeah, so uh, so this is. I mean, everywhere. Oh, we broke it. We broke it. Careful, because you don't want to spill on it. We broke it, and oh no, we're still alive. But I'm a moron, so I dropped it. So let's go. We're back in. We're back in business. Technical difficulties. Tell a story. Tell a story. Tell a story. Me tell. A story? Yeah, you tell a story. Yeah, I was oh, trying, oh, to, I was trying to fix the record. Yeah, I was making. You, I was making you take the well, brunt of the work. This one time, I w- <laughs> it was in was in Sacramento. I think I was about 21. It was about three years ago. A friend of mine's son was having his 21st birthday, and we were out. We went bar hopping and whatnot, and a friend of ours, who's this hilarious Chinese guy, okay. like literally off the boat from Hong Kong. He's so fucking funny, and he's he's a little... He tips a few too many sometimes. <laughs> Um, and we were going out with him and then all of a sudden he disappeared. And then a couple days later we were like, what happened to you? And he was like, 
dude, I went on an African safari, man. What? <laughs> you want to know what an African safari is? Can we be a little racist? To him? But not oh, racist. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I hooked up with the so black chick. So he hooked up with a black chick? He hooked up with a black chick? That's hilarious. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. like that expression. Okay. <laughs> so, he, yeah, I think um, I think that's, yeah, that's a big uh, attraction for... People of the Asian culture, when they get to America for the first time, they, they a lot of times they see their first <laughs> black person. <laughs> I guess because it's not a it's not a it's not a big thing over there. I guess that's hilarious. Not. Yeah. So well, he so went that's on That's my funny story. So that's uh, you did you did good. Um, good. Yeah. I'm after glad. I dropped I'm everything. glad I made you laugh. I appreciate it. Um, so, so yeah. So okay. So you're from Sacramento. You're mm-hmm. here now. Mm-hmm. Um, w- so what's 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 taking up most of your time? DJ stuff, porn um, stuff. Both. What's your both. What's your what's your what's your hardest event? Hardest event? I mean, they're both. It, it's um, what's the saying? The struggle's real, <laughs> even though it's not a struggle, but it is. But it isn't. Like, yeah, they both take up a lot of time, and they're both um challenging and fun and cool in their own way. Sure. For sure. All right. So what else is going on? Okay. So we got this. We got this thing going on on here. I haven't figured out LA yet. We got this thing with the lines. You haven't waited in line for anything. Um, <laughs> I haven't. Substantial. <laughs> I really want to know what the thing is. Like I want to go. I'm kind of curious what it is too. I want to hang and like go and go to and like try to get in there, and see what they're trying to get. And then because the thing is, th- the end of the line is no way they get the thing. Whatever the thing is, they're not. And it's like, why waste your time? But at the same time, when you're 18, like, what else? are you doing with your life like this is their what summer was I vacation doing at 18 well. chasing friends boys <laughs> and fun and i wanted to be a playboy model so that that's what i was chasing did that happen um well that's kind of like my little story with porn okay so i started modeling and acting when i was 12 years old okay and i like went to conventions and stuff like that i even went um i had a um agent in Sa- san francisco for like two years and i did a couple jobs it was nothing super major because i was shorter I, i've been like the same yeah, height which, like how tall forever i'm like five one five okay. two but i like grew really fast when i was younger and everybody thought oh you're gonna be tall you're gonna be tall and i just, just like, hung gr- yeah just hung at five yeah, one. yeah yeah i just stopped that's funny um but like i wanted to be like a Victoria's Secret model or like an SI model, and all those girls are they're like really six foot five. Yeah, they're all really tall. Yeah, they all, they but I wanted to, to do acting to get into the too, door. so it was like a little bit of both. But anyway, you know, I didn't quite fit into my because I looked older too, and they either want you to look really, really young or you know be tall so yeah. you can model. So you so were none I, of those things. I totally was none of those things. But then I was watching The Girls Next Door on the E channel when I was <laughs> okay. like 15 okay. and it was when Holly was casting girls to be like a f- anniversary playmate or something like that and was one of the things that really stuck with me was that we don't have a height requirement. Oh, hilarious. I'm like, "Oh, that's cool." Boom. It's like Sports Illustrated history no is made. Clothes on. So then I like tested for Playboy when I was 19 and, you know, it, it didn't really work out because, you know, how things are. There's politics. Sure. And there's uh, so many girls trying to yep. get in there. Um, but then after we moved here, I moved here, I met Holly Randall, um, which is a huge photographer yep. in the industry. She does work for Playboy, Digital Playground, Brazzers, Twisties, just to name a few. And we kept in touch and she ended up getting me a two twisty solos and I've been doing adult ever since <laughs> so that's <laughs> my little story so she pushed you in yeah no she really did and which is a great way to really get in because Holly's I don't know if you've seen her work but her work is beautiful yeah yeah it's dope so and yeah. now and now Playboy uh, no longer has nudes so it's uh no it's all, it's well no circle. it actually I think went back did to they go the back? magazine because oh, I didn't know that. Cooper Hefner which is one of Hugh Hefner's sons mm-hmm. took it over and kind of put it back to the way so they spent all this money to remarket it do the whole thing yeah i guess i don't know just to go I don't back know the details it was a we- it was a weird switch for sure but i've done playboy plus and stuff like that i'm a cyber girl so i mean that's a good i <laughs> wanted to do oh yeah that how do, yeah how do we follow you on the webs the, how do we follow how do you yeah, follow what, me yeah what's your oh what's on your, social media yes yeah, what's your um, tags? everything is at dj darcy dolce it's all the same now um, twitter instagram facebook soundcloud uh snapchat only fans i don't want to blow your mind but there <laughs> are there are you have some impersonators 
because I tagged you yesterday in a post, and then I looked it up today, and it's it wasn't you at all. Oh. So there's there's a bunch of fake yous. Uh, she, what are they? I'm I don't even know. Let's find out. Are. That's okay. So there was a I fake you. Imitation is the greatest so form of flattery. It does. Right? It makes sense for you to get to get catfish. I recently found out that I that I was I was a. I don't know what you That's call that. Funny. Somebody took my photos off of Facebook and then was using them. So then somebody tweeted at me and said, "This is actually Dan Frigolette," and I felt famous for like ten minutes. It was it was uh, it was my moment. Yeah, this one. This isn't you, right? No. So that's that, that one has. Wait. It's a fake. You. It has more and has more Twitter followers than me. So which which bummed me DJ out. At DJ Darcy at Darcy Dolce. Yeah. Huh. Don't well, follow that one. That's fake. Picked like good pictures. Yeah, though. it is. It is these, you. I don't like these pictures, but they're like so <laughs> ancient. But they're of they you. They put good pictures. That's a nice. I haven't and seen this picture of me. <laughs> There's so many pictures. It's a Playboy picture. That's I like, nice. I, li- I like that you're going to be the the number one follower of your fake account now. Right? <laughs> you know what's hilarious? And this is just funny with like pictures and when you're there actually at a shoot. This set I liked the least yeah. when I was actually at the shoot. Yeah. But then after seeing the finished product, like that was... Like probably my favorite one out of the like, three because I, like I did three looks that day. And I like that uh, that when you're in the room, you're like, I don't, I just, I don't really. This set is not for me. Well, no, well, you I know like how that. girls are. <laughs> right. We're all fucking weird. <laughs> this set's not gonna do. Did you read my rider? This is not. This is not correct. I told. I needed pinks and purples in the background of the set. Not. Not whatever this is. That's funny. This is not good. I don't know. Red is. Yeah, this is not. Red good. has. Um, pink has red and white, so you just needed a splash well, some I'm white. <laughs> yeah, I'm colorblind. I don't know what's happening. So I had people sitting up here. I'm trying to play with the knobs, and I was like, you know, this is enough. That's fine. <laughs> I took pictures earlier. I was super red. Uh, I was like, you know what? That's that's the best I can do. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so don't follow fake you. Follow real you. Yeah, at DJ Darcy Dolce. At DJ Darcy Dolce. Um, what's your What's your favorite place to be? Have you Have you uh, Have you like traveled to visit? Yeah. Um, Work. Visit? I really like Hawaii um, for vacation and New York is really cool. Yeah. I like New York. I and the every time I've gone there, like I'm only there for like a short period of time. Yeah. New York's a place you have to like really, really dive in. Yeah. And I really, really want to. I just didn't have the time every time I was there. But I will. I will one of these days. So you've been a couple days at a time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a tough couple. one. New York stuff. I feel like New York is tough to outsiders a lot of times. People try to figure out the place, and it's like, and I mean, the place. There's so many places. Right. So it's like, so you got, and and New York has this uh, ability to basically, no matter what you're into, you can find that your little chunk of the city bro- mm-hmm. between Brooklyn and Queens and all the things. And I find with a place like that, you have to go with somebody, yeah. or or meet up with a friend yeah. that really knows, like what you know because you guys are from so no, this obviously is m- gonna know what you like and this is my trip when you like go to a city things, so I, I, I've been touring a lot with comedy and so what I do is I, I only go to places where I know people I don't generally like staying in hotels because what happens you stay in the hotel and then you, you just live in the hotel and they don't like they don't help you f- get around so mm-hmm. if you stay at somebody's house they're like no, no you don't want to go to that place if somebody mm-hmm. got shot there last mm-hmm. week this guy shit on the floor like you know, all the things mm-hmm. and so yeah. if you stay with real people then you actually get a chance to understand what that city is and, and, and what people do and all those sorts of things. Uh, don't For stay sure. in hotels, guys. That's my point. Yeah. Well, one of the nights the hotel was comped, so. <laughs> so, so there you go. There so you go. there you go. Um, yeah, so stay, I mean, so s- you probably stayed, what, like basically in Times Square? Um, the first time I went there and, like, literally stayed in the city, I was at the Dream Hotel yep. in – Midtown. Yeah, it's like right in. Yeah, which is actually a really great spot because I feature dance, and uh, the last time I was there, I feature dance at Sapphire and yep. Uptown. Um, so, yeah, it w- w- in the Dream Hotel, Midtown's cool because you are you're close to Times Square, you're close to Broadway, and you're also close to what is it called Central Park. Central Park, Bryant Park, uh, yeah, all the parks. Yeah, it's cool. All the parks. How do you feel? So, um, so you work with Sapphire. I, I actually. Yeah, I've danced at both of them. The new one, Thirty Nine, um, and Uptown. Wherever that was, Fifty Fourth or something in New York. Does that sound right? What? Is it Fifty Fourth? Does that sound right? Fifty Fourth Street. Know. I'm just making up things. So I played. Uh, it's. Uh, I was excited because I got I got to I got a gig at the one in Vegas. 
Oh, I want to have dance there too. That's, so that's a big, excited. big club. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's great, big name, the whole thing. So they had us in the the second room, and so the show that I was on was uh, a comedian, a magician, um, a burlesque dancer, then another magician, then me, then uh, another burlesque dancer, and then another and this comedian. This was at Sapphire. In Sapphire Vegas? in Vegas, yeah. Huh. It's uh, it was it's a Saturday show, and uh, and then after us in the second room is the male strip show. They have male shows They have shows a male strip there? show. And I'm not sure if it's every week or what it was. Uh, or I didn't even know they had. So, I mean, I didn't know they did what you were just yeah, telling so, me so about. For, yeah, so first side is like, you know, two stages plus the top. Mm-hmm. It's great. And they have that, that other pool section during the day. That's yeah. everything good. And then and then you go into the second room, you know, and then it was this weird variety show that doesn't make It didn't make sense to me that it was in a strip club. And worst part was I left my I left one of my cameras in the green room, so I had to come back a couple hours later. And I was like trying to reach out to the club, and they're like, "You're fine, just go and whatever." But it was while the dude strippers were in there, oh, and okay. so I had to I had to come into the room, and then I just beelined for the uh, for the the green room, go in the green room to get my camera, and then all the male strippers just kind of hanging out. A couple of them actually were telling stories about how they don't uh, about how somebody tried to approach them. Uh, a, another dude to get it to get a, uh, a dance. He's like, I don't do dudes. So they're like already in that. I don't do dudes energy when I walk in uh, to get my camera. And then I sort of get like surrounded. And I, there's like a moment where I might have to fight a group of like male strippers, which I'm not winning that fight. Uh, and I don't. And, and, <laughs> and like any and like any random like you don't want to go down in that fight either because like anything you know anything can happen because these guys are like half half there. So I had to like talk my. I was like, no 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 no. I was here earlier. As my camera's trying to get out of here without getting. Did you cock at least get your cameras? Got my camera, yes, this one I have. Oh, cool. There they are. Without getting cock they punched. They went through the male stripper cesspool. The arsenal, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I was I was wondering, yeah, that, so I actually. They survived. And somebody, actually, somebody put a piece of gum on the front of one of them, so it was. What uh, an asshole. <laughs> yeah. So it was a weird, up. it was a weird thing. But yeah, ch- so that's a, that's a fun little variety show. In the Vegas. So what else? What do you have coming up? Where are you going? What are you excited Where about? Where going? Um, in two weeks or a week and a half, is it next weekend? Second week of June, I'm going to be in Long Island at a gentleman's club. It's a grand opening, and I, for the life of me, forgot the name of it. And then the week after that, I'm going to be DJing at a club in Houston. And then after that, like the next day, I'm going to be feature dancing at Scores in Houston. Come back from that, and then I'll be in Chicago for Chicago Exotica, which is an nice. adult convention. It's real. It's it's really fun and yeah. it's cool, like for the girls and for the fans, like because it's not so as big as. I mean, you're familiar with AVN, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, AVN is just a week long, huge. It's just so big. Yeah, people were telling me that uh, yeah. even being a participant in in AVN that. It's spread out so much over all the rooms that like they're not even sure if they got to everything and they were there for you the week. You probably can't yeah. because it's just so big. It's so, so big. And then the weekend before AVN, there's the Internext convention where all the business people right. go to. So it's just it's a huge it's it's huge. Yeah, it's I'm really. Gonna, I'm gonna try to check out because uh, I am I am East Coast, but I'm gonna try to check out the one in New Jersey. It's in October, because uh, I always see the billboard for it. No, trying it's to get in October. Up. I thought it was in November. I think might it's be November. November. It might be yeah. November. You Nova- might be right. It's usually in November. First couple weeks. It's a good one. So yeah. if you're gonna go, go for I'm sure. Check it out. It's cool. Very cool. So uh, how, so as a DJ, how do you stay on top of music? How do you like make time for it? Yeah. <laughs> And definitely having gigs helps yeah. because then it's like, oh, I have a gig. I need to I need to work on that. I gotta get I gotta get uh, caught up on stuff. Yeah, how do you uh, like all these guys that I know that have DJs? Like you'll go to the house, there's just crates and crates of stuff like all the way through, and they're I like, they're like, oh, I got something for you. They pull it out, they play you one song, they put the thing back. It's a whole. I have some vinyl, but um, now like the thing to use is CDJs. Yeah. At least at three quarters of the club, which is like the the replacement for turntables. Right. And now instead of lugging in to the club a big thing of crates or multiple crates, right. you have MP3s on a right. removable disc and you just plug it in. And it's based, that's your crate. Yeah, these you know, days. Flip, the, flip the Apple logo open, do the thing, get ready. No, no, I don't even use a computer. You don't even use a computer? Nope. Oh, wow. Nope, nope, nope. I, I spin house music, like that's more yeah. my thing and that's like the house way. is just, I mean, you even see like Calvin Harris. Yeah. Like and what's his name Hardwell or whatever they don't use a computer either they just use just bring in the drive. thing boom yep 
And then, yeah. how, so how do you access it? Are you the set's already done? The well, no. I mean, you make your playlist or whatever for your set or not. I mean, just depending on what you're playing. I usually try to have like a set ready yeah. for whatever I'm playing sure. for, and it reads like you know set for you know New York or whatever, and you click on that, and then you just go from one song A to B. But you're actually mixing it. It's not like it's doing it for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So, uh, so what are you listening to now? What's your, what are you like obsessed with right now? Um, geez, of course you're gonna put me on the spot with that. <laughs> ah, what do I listen to? Um, I really love the artist K Trinata. Okay. Are you familiar with him? I am not. It's like R and B, like, but kind of housey, borderline, super fucking dope. Um, I like Disclosure a lot. Um. I like this. He's a local guy. His name is London Bridge. He's super dope. I like Drazo, another local guy in L.A. Cool. Yeah. Shout out. Um, yeah. That's my favorite thing. So you, you, you were saying, you know, you were cramming uh, uh, different uh, genres together. Last night, the person I'm staying with, uh, they were trying to describe to me the, this um, – Mexican artist and they were like they just started listing on they listed every genre they're like it's kind of like it's like if, if like rap it was like mixed with like country and they just they were listing every the reggae reggae tone and I was like I don't think it, it can't be all of those things at the same time things. I unless like, it was like a genres? different song I guess <laughs> right right maybe I mean you know how some artists like change it up I don't know yeah I was like I don't think I don't think that's how genres work I don't think you could just jam all of them it's got to be one of the yeah, things. Yeah, it's like a smoothie of everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's see. What what do you hate? What just, do I hate? Just open question. What do you what hate, do hate in the world? I hate stupid people with bad hygiene. Sure. I had the pleasure of working with one yesterday. Uh-oh. All right. Story. But I'm not going to tell that story. We don't have to mention who it is. Up. Just don't say a name. Just no names. He's a person. He's a human. I don't hate the guy. He is a human. Um, he was in the industry many years ago. Yeah. Um, and he he started a new company and booked a bunch of girls and some guys. He he. There were multiple sh um, scenes. Yeah. Shot yesterday. Some boy girl. Some girl girl. Uh, mine was a solo, and I was like. So so boring, but cool. Cause girl, I mean, girl, girl is like what I'm known yeah. for in the industry. Is girl, girl. Um, but it, it was like, oh, you're doing one thing, and now you're doing another thing. And I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> just please, just tell me <laughs> what I'm doing. I've been here since ten o'clock, and it was like three thirty. Yeah. I said, just tell me what's going on. Oh, you hadn't and done Please tell yet. me that you're shooting me next because <laughs> I've been here. The longest out of everybody here yeah. now. Like, tell me what's going on. Uh, the, 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 like, no, don't fucking dance around the question. Just tell me what's fucking going I'm on. I'm next, damn it. Yeah, and you just, the guy smells so bad. Yeah, what's, now what are we talking? We're talking, we're talking general, person. general B, general B.O.? Just dirtiness. Okay. Dirtiness. And then in the feet? makeup like room. Like feet, armpits, no, like just, breath, like. You know, like. Death and like no, ick. I don't no. know. I don't know how to just dirt. Do you know the, dirty. the smell that gets me is plaque. Plaque. You ever like somebody smells teeth? like plaque? Yeah. You ever smell the floss when you're done? Yeah. It's oh it's yeah, that's horrifying. Smell. Yeah. So well, it's I, like I, the inside of your mouth. Yeah. I dated a girl whose mom always smelled like plaque, and I just didn't. I didn't know how. It really impacted. My friend has a saying: If the mom doesn't look good, I will not stay with that girl for yeah. long. That's a ru that's a ruling. Now, my, now my girl didn't smell, uh, as it turns out, but her, but but just being around her mom did, and, and you know, and uh, uh, like, what are the next years gonna bring to me? Yeah. Just kind of the, the, and then <laughs> so you'd, I'd, 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 you'd have to ask a question like you'd be like, when are you seeing the dentist again? When is yeah. what's going on? She with needed that? Um, Sonicare, dental floss, Arm and Hammer toothpaste, and Listerine. Yeah, that's my routine. Yeah, what's the um, what's the what the weirdest reason you've ever broken up from a person? The weirdest reason. Um. <laughs> Usually every person I've dumped was a good reason. <laughs> so I don't have well, another good, question. What, no, no. What's a good reason? A good reason? Sure. Because you're a real asshole. <laughs> okay. Or you're a bitch. Okay. 
<laughs> just, just you've been an asshole to me, so it's time. It's time. Yeah, or you're just, or I'm just not interested in you anymore. Yeah, how do you feel about monogamy? I keep trying to get to the bottom of this. Monogamy? I'm, yeah, as, um, a, as a concept. I think that, you know, it, it's different for every, whatever works for those two people or yeah. that person. Some people, it's better if they just stay with one another. Yeah. Some people, it's cool for the guy and the girl to have an open relationship. Sometimes it's cool for a couple to hook up with other girls and not other guys. I think it just depends on the individuals and what their needs are and what they want. Do you and believe? As long as everybody's happy and is safe. Do but do you believe in the the permanence of that? Like, do you believe that two people can be happy together? Forever. Um, I w forever. For I don't know, cause when when is forever? Forever. Do you know when those these, these these couples that met that these couples that met in high school and stay together till they die. The, the Notebook. You know. Well, if that's all they've ever had in their whole life. Yeah. Well, then it, okay. If that's all you've ever had, then I don't know. But do you believe there's a perfect person for everybody? And the Notebook wasn't like that. That movie. They weren't. They weren't. Just it wasn't. They weren't together forever, like. Yeah, she was. Before. She was gonna marry the other guy, but they died together. Do you believe in the power of? Do you think our our love can take us away together? I don't know. <laughs> That's that final scene when they die together. Is I don't know. Um, for some people, maybe. Would you? But not everybody. Would you? Now let me ask you this: If you were uh, old and and crunchy, and you uh, and crunchy, I hope I never. And you had crunchy. dementia. I hope I'm <laughs> and you had dementia and Alzheimer's, uh, and you didn't remember. <laughs> all your stuff and all your people. <laughs> would you want your husband to show up every day and read you a story of your love? Or would you want him to just go home and actually pay the bills and like I want live his life? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I this guy every both. day in this movie was sitting there telling the story. I love that's a good movie. Why? It's a little corny, but it is a good movie. It's just a good movie. It's it's I don't it's just for me at the end it's just like I don't think that's what I don't think that's what's supposed to happen. That's because it's a story. <laughs> it's I think that's fiction. the but I think that's the problem. I think we're all looking for those for like that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't that know that fairy tale romance. I like I said I think everybody in this world is looking for something different, and I just hope whatever that person finds for a significant other, that person is looking for the same thing that they are, because then. They'll be happy and peaceful, no matter what it is. Yeah, you gotta sit down and and make rules uh, as a as a relationship for for you know how how it's gonna play out and what's gonna happen. I kind I was in that situation recently I where I was trying to invent something new with somebody, and we were trying to figure out how to do it. <laughs> like a relationship yeah. type of status yes. thing. Yeah. So we were trying to decide what, how open, what open, what that what that meant, and how that kind of played out. Communication is quite important, so always communicate. And this was our peril. We were telling yeah. each other <laughs> when we were hooking up with other people and that eventually became sort of the, the downfall of it. How do you what do you think the the have you been in an open relationship? How do you like how do you think? The, you know, the I haven't was? been in an open, open relationship. Not where like that person was sleeping with other people yeah. behind my back and I was doing the same. I, I actually haven't been in that. I know that sounds really weird, but I haven't. Do you think? <laughs> no, um, but I know a lot, a lot of people that have. And I mean, I mean, I'm important. That's very, very, very common. Yeah. Even like for work. I yeah. mean, these two people are married and the girls in the industry or whatever yeah. and the guy isn't. And that yeah. girl just flies out or goes to a shoot. Yeah. And you know, f has sex with another dude and takes a shower after the scene and goes home to their husband yeah. or their boyfriend or whatever. And it's okay. I just think it. what's cool for you isn't cool for me and what's cool for them sure. isn't cool for both of us. So how, how do you think people mitigate jealousy? Because that's always, that's always the destroyer. <laughs> um, how, do, how do you, I mean... Are you a jealous person? How do you how do you feel about it? Do you get that? Do you get weird like that? No, I don't think so. I I well, let me put it this way: I've never really been jealous, so if I am, I don't know it yet. <laughs> okay. And but I don't think I am because I, I think if I was to be jealous, I would have I would known that already. Right. I'm 24. I would hope I would know that by now. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot that's gonna happen. Over the next years of your life. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't been yet, and I hope I never am because jealousy is one of the worst things to be. It's, it's a really, weird, really bad and yeah. really, really ugly and really shitty. And there's no logic to it most of the time. So you're like there trying isn't. To so trying to like justify it, and it's just like somebody feels it in their body, and they like can't handle. It. My grandfather dated a woman uh, many years after my grandmother died. He was he was back out there and he still had pictures of my grandmother in his house because that was his wife and he was he made it clear to these women that he would date he was like look we can have fun but i'm not i'm not looking to get married again i'm you know i'm 80 years old i'm not i'm not interested in that i have I'm grandchildren 80 years old. children dating ladies oh, that's he's, cool he, oh, he was out there killing it but so this woman that he was him. dating would come in the house and whenever he wasn't looking she would take my grandmother's picture and like and like put it down but to be jealous hey, of someone's past is a crazy crazy thing but but she's like okay, I'm dating this guy, who has a family, and you said his grandma died, right? She, she died. Yeah, yeah, she died. Okay, so he's a widower. She died in so 2001. He didn't start dating probably in so 2010. So she like needs 10. to realize, okay, this guy has had a past. He's had a wife. He's had children. Now he has grandchildren. You know, and he, that's, but our, that's on house, her. That's grandma, yeah, she's the one that got into it. So. Yeah. Girlfriend, if you feel the need to cover up this old lady's picture, <laughs> yeah. you should probably rethink what it is that you're doing and maybe find someone else to hang around with. Yeah. That's just my. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. She. So that uh, that that said a lot to me because at the time I, he was so he was 78 or so and I was uh, 25 and we were sharing very similar. St I was dating girls who were 24. He was dating women who were 74 and we had very similar stories. Which is when I realized, like, people don't grow up that much. Mm -mm. The way you are, pretty much at twenty, it kind of hangs. It kind of <laughs> hangs in there. To be a jealous old lady yeah, is the same lady who was a jealous fun. lady when she was twenty-four. For sure. So, what's your favorite social media? Um, I, you know, I've always really liked Instagram, so I'm gonna say Instagram. But Twitter's cool for adult because. It's harder to get flagged, yeah. like getting flagged at all, because you could post a naked picture. Yeah. But as long as you play by the rules, you'll be okay. Yeah. Instagram, I like Instagram a lot, I and do. I always have had. Because you know, it's funny. I didn't start having social media until I was nineteen. I didn't have a Facebook. I didn't have anything in high school. Nothing because I just felt like drama. Yeah. I mean, I would go on with my friends that had them and be like, "Oh, look, they're so and so." Right. You know how kids are. Um. But my first um, social media that I really used and loved to use was Instagram. So that's, yeah, Instagram. I love Instagram. And, uh, and, to, put it, and to put it in perspective, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, none of those things existed when I was in high school. So, yeah. so I also was they're, not they're on until They're all very was, new. Snapchat. So. You know what another one I do like um, that I will say is OnlyFans because people pay to see yeah. a picture because it's, only for fans. Yeah. Well, and I hear that. Uh, Which is cool. And you get paid from it. Like, if you're going to do something, just make sure you get paid or getting something well, out of that's it. Good, that's good advice. That's very good yeah, advice. Yeah. We're, I mean, fuck, I'm, we're in this world to be happy and healthy and make money. <laughs> yeah. At least that's what I want to do. So I, I've been having, uh, I've been having trouble with my Twitter feed because I'm following now everybody uh, from the industry. So what happens is uh, I can't just. Go on Twitter at Starbucks or on an airplane because it is just, it's just nudity left and right. So it looks like so it's, oh, like well so it's no. everything's not safe for work. Honey, I don't think people are at Starbucks looking <laughs> at whatever's on your phone because they're busy looking at their own phone. I guess I guess that's probably true. That's totally or worry about being jealous about their boyfriend like you were just talking yeah. about. Yeah. What's he doing? Who's he liking? You think you think people are concerned about what you're doing or looking at you or like, oh, this is off or whatever, and nobody's fucking looking. It's funny. No one cares. I hate to say that, but it's true. I had uh, I I, th I, had, I did have that exact exact experience where I uh, I didn't realize on Instagram that there's a section where you can see what everybody else is doing. Oh, like oh, so and so like this and yeah. So when I yeah, first that's serious stalker shit. Yeah. So when I first it joined is. Instagram, I just linked it to my Facebook. So it, it, it just straight mm -hmm. followed like yeah, seventy five hundred people. Yeah, mine's linked to my Facebook too. And when you and when it first came out, that that like the server couldn't handle that I was following what like seventy five hundred people. And so this this other portion of it, where you look it up, like the following part, that that didn't show up. So I didn't know that everybody could just watch that I was just. 
and I was like following all these these stupid accounts like tits and tats. So I was just liking, you know, just random asses at two a.m. Yeah, I had no idea. And people were just like, "What's wrong with Frigolat, man? This is this is uh this is this is you know what's blatant interesting and obvious. too on Facebook if you um like flip it like to the left you can see who's on Facebook or when they were last yeah. on oh no shit or whatever oh right 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 all the all this all the stuff up here it's go for it yeah I think it's this way maybe it's changed I might not I might maybe not, I haven't I might not been be updated being as stalkerish as I once was <laughs> I might not I also might not be updated. But yeah, so th- it's th- been that way for quite some time. So the, I'm sure uh, you're updated. So the, uh, <laughs> well, they have all this. They have all this now. The live people. Well, no, it wasn't a live thing. It was just saying like who's on Facebook currently right now. Like so you can chat see. with them. I mean, that's I think the nice way to say <laughs> what it's for. But people flip things into being a bad thing, like it's stalking. To stalk, yeah. I've been there. I've been in. I've been in that. Uh, I've been in that thing where I've been in an argument and I don't know what it's about. And then ten minutes into the argument, you find out it's about liking somebody's photo. See, and that that's when social media gets bad. I mean, it's great. It's it's like a blessing and a curse. Yeah, it's a blessing and a curse, just like the internet, just like the cell phones, just like all that stuff. We all think we all think we're important enough to be followed, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> so, do you do you take the time? Do you go to concerts? Do you uh, do you go out and 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 yeah. follow people around? Not follow people around, but I like to um, go out and do things. Like, I like to go to music events. I actually, last week, this isn't anything music-related, I went to something called Absinthe in downtown okay. Los Angeles, and it's super fucking dope. I was so pleasantly surprised. It's like Circus Soleil, but they do, like, a lot of sex jokes and okay. stuff like that. Like, they'll do, like, a little cool show, and then somebody will sing in between or, like, do, like, little stand-up jokes nice yeah it's it's super dope very like these people are so talented um but i mean it is it's like circus soleil like they do all these cool things with their bodies yeah that whole that whole so art I form was, was taken over huh the circus soleil that whole that whole art form is taking over yeah yeah it's so cool and it's i think it's better than like an actual circus and it was within like a little tent thing yeah because i think circus i've never actually been to like a real circus well, closed. i went there and i said oh this is my first circus they finally c- they closed i think i think they closed forever barnum and bailey the um and the, they the should they're like i don't think they're very good to the little animals <laughs> right in there yeah they, they well crappy. first they first they said we're not going to use any more elephants and then almost like right after they were like okay well with no elephants apparently we can't uh justify the the, yeah. the whole thing so they, they closed it down yeah yeah that's yeah that's not good for it. but that's the old world you know, now we're getting in more into the newer world. And so now we use people for <laughs> circus for the, things. Instead of the elephants. <laughs> yeah, they, so yeah, they, uh, I, f- I saw one of them in Vegas where everybody, I think, or maybe it was in New York, where everybody dresses up as a bug. Oh, that's cool. I don't remember what the show was called. But Cirque du Soleil has like 400 shows now. They're, they've yeah. taken over. Yeah, no, the it's entire big. Market. It's super big. There's one in Vegas where they come out. They uh, where they jump uh, from the, the ceiling into like a pool of water. You're just around this pool. They've gotten crazy with the stuff. Yeah. So what else? Crazy okay. So are fun. you are you in any weird trends? Like are you are you starting to to get to the place where you're where you're doing weird food stuff? Are you like are you weird? What do you mean by that? Like I don't know. Right now, I just, I just started being a vegan or something. Yeah. Like whatever. That. Yeah. Anything like that. Um. I mean, I've. I don't eat as much meat as I used to, yeah. but I think it's because I just was feeling better when I didn't yeah. eat as many animal products. I'm not like a vegan or anything like that, but I'm like a borderline vegan. I could be a vegan if I wanted to be, but I do like my sushi and yeah. So what's your what's like your that. go-to? You're just like my go-to. go-to meal. My go-to meal. I don't know, like anything with veggies. But like when I like go out, I love like I like steak houses, but I don't usually ever order steak. I usually order like some fish dinner um but i like sushi a lot and i love like asian food like i love thai food and stuff like that have you ever had toy on sunset over here nope not yet Pretty i'm gonna bomb. trying to figure out uh so the hawaiian the po was it poke poke bowls poke. Do you know what I'm oh about? i've i've had those i've never been to like a poke restaurant but they just put one i'm i live in hoboken they just put one in hoboken so i've been i've been like i've been like starting to like get obsessed with the with with that whole trend yeah. And figure that out. There's so much. It's Starbucks, all that stuff. It's such a trend. So 
did you did you get a chance to try the un- the unicorn frappuccino that Starbucks was doing last month? I have never. That is it good? Have you? I had have it? no idea. I don't. I've it's like all sugar. It. I don't do like a su- the sugary drink thing. Yeah, I like. I mean, I like the coffee frappuccinos, like with the coffee in it and stuff like that. And the green tea ones are good. The black tea ones are good too, like the tea or coffee ones, but not the bullshit. Yeah, I don't know. I think that it so was something, something to do with like multiple into. flavors as you drank it or something like this. Um, and then huh. w- and then somebody in uh, Brooklyn decided that they invented the unicorn frappuccino so then they last week i think they tried to sue starbucks for infringing on their on their product huh it's just this little place in yeah Brooklyn. just some just some place in williamsburg S- that said we invented starbucks that and starbucks swallow them up stole it yeah well i'm sure i think that's the goal right when you sue somebody like starbucks i think you're just trying to make news for yourself mm-hmm. and you're trying to maybe get that check yeah yeah because Starbucks, Starbucks is either like, well, we don't even, we don't even want to deal with this. We're like, and they like, we'll just pay you. Shut yeah, the fuck up. They're just like, dude, it's twenty five grand. Cool. Like, obviously, you're looking for money. I I wonder what a Starbucks like in a busy city makes on a daily basis, or even one like off like a freeway. Like, I'm from Sacramento, yeah. so you take um, Interstate five north to get to Sacramento, and there's a couple Starbucks, and you know, people take that freeway every day yeah. you know what i mean and like even one like off like a f- busy freeway like that to like cut through like different cities and shit like that like what do you make in a day Starbucks. right right and call in there was in new york there was one uh there was two across the street from each other right in astor place and then they, when they did the big they did a big uh training thing so then they shut down they shut down every other starbucks in new york for like Two years, and then what? within like what? a year, yeah, it was just a couple years ago. And then we did a big training thing. There was a whole big news thing because I think the the customer service started slipping. So they were like, no, we're gonna do a whole big summit. They did a whole training, and mm-hmm. they started. They closed a couple shops, but then within like a year, back on again. But here's what I find interesting. So if you go to the Starbucks on the West Coast, not 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 in this city, but in in Oregon and some of those uh, other well, Oregon especially and Washington. Mm-hmm. I've never been to either one of those. They don't, there's no fast food part of it. Like, like when you do Starbucks here, you do That's the thing. You wait on the side. They give it to you. It, it took me 15 minutes to get a a, a coffee, a water, and like a and like an uh, like a tea drink in Portland, Oregon. They had a drive through and we we're just sitting there, and I was like, why are we why are we in a you take the drive through really takes longer than just walking yeah. and getting up off your ass. I, and I reversed out, in. got in this parking lot, did the thing, but then it still took them 15 minutes because something about something about and, and I found this in Missouri too, and but and, but especially in Oregon, is this just like. There's no time. There's no timeline. Yeah. You just, and they in just, New York, they just bring it to and you. And over here, it's like, okay, I need to be somewhere <laughs> at a certain time. Yeah, if come you on, come on. Yeah, yeah, if you don't get somebody their coffee in under 45 seconds in New York, like, there's there's going to be a scene. Yeah. Fast, faster lifestyle. That's <laughs> what it is. People, it's just different. They're just like, come on, man. Why am I not already yeah. drinking my it's, coffee? It's What's different happening? here than it is in Sacramento, where I'm from. It's just yeah. like, it's just. What's the culture in slower. Sacramento? I, how do you describe it? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, there's people. I mean, there's the city, like downtown Sacramento. I mean, there's business people. The capital's over there. Um, I mean, there's some business people, but not not as many as here. Yeah. There's a. Yeah. I don't know. The, totally I, so different. I think. I drove I drove through Sacramento once on our, on my way to I think I think we were going because it's up right so I think we we're on our way to Oregon so we went through beautiful 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 yeah no everywhere. it's it's be- the the slogan is the city of trees and where <laughs> I'm from it's um east of Sacramento but it's still within Sacramento County Folsom and it's on the way to South Lake Tahoe and it's by like a lake you know the Johnny Cash song Folsom yeah this is asking same same it is yeah no where I'm my parents house is right by the right by the prison right by the prison right oh, by which cool. is right by the lake and the dam and everything i mean it's it's beautiful yeah. um like the kids would go like do lake days like over the summer and stuff like that and yeah it's it's beautiful and it's very it's probably where my parents live it's probably like 45 minutes to um south lake tahoe okay so it's it's on the way to the mountains so I yeah. mean it's beautiful so I didn't realize. So the so being in being inlet, I didn't. So I'm from I'm from New York, upstate New York, and so we're not near we're not near a beach. So we have lakes. We have so many lakes. Yeah, we have, we have the yeah, Finger I've heard lakes, upstate is all gorgeous. Th- but all my buddies. So like when you, I went to college, you know, up there, and then all my buddies were kind of from sort of Philly, New Jersey, whatever, and then sort of on the East Coast. Generally, you can kind of get to the ocean. 
yeah. uh, for the most part. Yeah, so we're on the coast. So Buddy calls. So Buddy calls his mom, and he's like, "Hey, we're going to the we're going to the beach." Mm-hmm. And she like there was like this like this like pause and like confusion, and then he had to explain to mom. He goes, "Oh no no no!" He's like, "Yeah no, they treat lakes like oceans here," which I didn't know was a weird thing to do. What do you mean by that? Well, he because he said to his mom, "We're going to the beach," and the only thing that his mom could understand about the beach is that like you have to drive. Like she's like, "I understand. Are you down shore?" Oh oh oh! oh so so go to the beach, man. Yeah, we were like, lake. "No, we're just going to Oneida Lake." Got it. Okay, now the I get beach. It. Yeah, so I used to call the lake the beach. Yeah, when I was little. Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, because it is a beach. Yeah. Anything, anything inlet. That's how. That's how they do it. That's how they do it. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Let's uh, let's wrap it up. Let's uh, let's cool. plug you one more time. Uh, DJ Darcy Dolce on Twitter. Don't follow the fake one. Uh, Instagram. Uh, encourage them to, to do your members only Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. Only <coughs> fans, please. You get to see stuff that only fans can see. I also have a premium Snapchat where it has me doing. Some Various things. fun activities yeah. uh, for the adults. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you for being here. This is the Porn Stars of People podcast. Uh, you found us. Thank you for listening. Uh, please subscribe and follow Darcy Dolce and everything. Thank you for being here. Of